Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to be changing this bottle into a really pretty vase. We're going to be using Dollar Tree napkins, and I love the garden effect of this one, and we're going to be Mod Podging it onto this particular bottle. We're going to put some butterflies with this grass coming out of the top. I thought that would look really pretty. I'm still deciding whether I'm going to use these stickers from the Dollar Tree, so we'll we'll see if I'm going to use those. And I've got some some bling to add to it along with this. So, we're going to see how it goes. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is paint your bottle and so this is a really clean surface I, I took all the labels off um, and those came off pretty easily I just soaked them for about 15 to 20 minutes and those labels just came right off so this particular bottle I love the unique shape of it um, this is a Patron bottle and I've done this bottle before um, on another project. I will post that video below so you can see what that looks like. And so I'm just using the white paint as my base. And I thought about using a blue, but I just wasn't sure. I was thinking of doing a light blue so that the light blue would kind of show up through there. But I didn't want to take a chance. I said I'll do the white because the white... The white really makes the napkins pop when you apply it on there. The colors will really pop um, when once you Mod Podge it onto the bottle. So I'm going to do right up to the neck of the bottle with this paint. So I'm not going to paint all the way up. So I think I'm going to put some bling around the neck just to brighten it up a little bit. But I just love the shape of these bottles. And um, I was mentioning before in one of my previous videos that if you know someone at a restaurant, or even if you don't, and you just go to your local restaurant and ask them if they have any um, wine bottles or liquor bottles that they want to throw out, um, and they have tons of them that they have to discard, so... It'll be, it's such a waste. Um, so you can just go and ask. And so I just have, I had to actually stop getting um, bottles from the restaurants because I have so many of them. And of course you can, you may hear my dog underneath my craft table. He's joined me, but I've noticed he's been hanging out in the craft room even when I'm not here. So I think he just likes it in here. And this acrylic paint goes on really well. Just nice and smooth. And I like the coverage that this paint has. This is the white um, gloss paint and it's from Apple Barrel so it's one of the paints I always use I just pick these up uh, from Walmart a little 50 cent bottle so okay and so this is what the first coat looks like and I'm going to just let that dry and then I'm, I'm going to apply another coat to this. So I'm super excited about the way this is going to going to look. And I can't wait till I could start putting on the, um, the napkin. Because I think it's going to look very pretty. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to apply another coat. And then we're ready to Mod Podge. Okay, so our bottle is all dry and it's time to do our Mod Podge. And so these napkins I'm super excited about. 
when I saw them, I just absolutely love the color. So these happen to be a longer napkin than the normal ones that I usually get. And this is, let's see, this is a two-ply napkin and the 16 count. So imagine the number of things you can create with this. And you can do this technique on a vase as well. Or, or another type of bottle. If you see a bottle that you like, I like this because it has the flat surface. So what I'm going for with this is this, um, I like this part right here. That little part right there. And it may end up fitting on my, my bottle there. So I just like that little bit of blue with the green around it. So I may do that on all four sides, but we'll see. And it's two ply, so what I'm going to do is pull off part of the edge here. Let's see, usually I can just wet my fingertips and then it'll pull itself apart. Let's see if I could do that. Let me get some more water here. Let's try this side here. I got better luck. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, that took a little bit of time there. So if you pull it apart like this, then the artwork will be really vibrant. So you could also cut it first before you before you pull it apart if you want to do that. But look how pretty that is. I love that. And the reason why I pull it apart is because it's um, so it will be really vibrant. It'll stand out more when I'm applying it to the bottle. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. I'm just going to kind of cut along this crease here. And I will also post some other things where I did some other Mod Podge projects on uh, bottles and glass containers. Such a nice way to transform some of these things. So like this right here, I'm just gonna kinda measure it out. I like this part right here too. I also like this. We'll see, it looks like it's going to fit perfectly too. Let's see. Something like that. We'll see. I'll just cut a little bit of this uh, bottom part off because I want it to be kind of centered there. Okay, so I cut a little bit off of the bottom area here and I just want to see if this would kind of fit just like that without me having to cut smaller pieces. I could do it like that, but I think this will work actually. And if you want to cut it up and make it into smaller pieces, you could do that too. But this may work really, really good, just like this. And then I only want it to come up to like this part right here, just right about there. So I'm just going to pull this under. And fold it just like that. And I'm going to cut this part off right here. And that should be perfect size. And this napkin is very light, so I'm just trying to be a little bit 
careful with this. And I probably could have just cut it while it had the backing on. It would have been a little bit more steadier, but it all still works. I'm just going to cut one more piece out of here. See, I think I'm going to cut this big part right here. It's a little bit off the bottom and a little bit off the top. Just for that back side, because I only have three sides covered, so I need one more side to be covered. I'm just eyeballing this. I'm not being like exact with it. Yep, so those are the two parts I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut it along the sides here and that'll be our other part. Be real careful with this because it will it will rip. This would be nice to use these little pieces for something else for another project. So I always save my little pieces here. Might just take a whole bunch of scraps one day and just just plaster them on a bottle just to see how it comes out. I think it'll be fun. Okay, so that's going to fit perfectly on there. So maybe I'll do this one first. Actually, no, I'm going to do this one first. Okay, so I'm going to start off right here and start putting on my Mod Podge. And we will see what happens. For right now, I'm just going to kind of do this in parts. I like to do it in parts rather than put it on the whole thing. Just for me, it's easier. I want to get that main part on first, so I'm not going to go up here yet. And so all I'm going to do is start off by just putting this right around that first part there. So what I'm doing is, what I'm going to do is a technique that I learned from another YouTubers to use the saran wrap and just smooth it out rather than use your fingers. And the reason why you do this is because the napkin will stick to your fingers and you don't want it to stick to your fingers because it will rip. So I'm just doing this one part as I go. And so it has a few wrinkles, but it really smooths it out nice. This saran wrap technique is just priceless. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it like that for now. And I'm just going to flip that over and then put some more on. And I remember when I first started doing this, it was a little bit awkward because I just wasn't used to it. But now I love doing Mod Podge with napkins and other paper stuff. And this is going to be perfect. This would be nice as a Mother's Day gift because it has the flowers on it and you can um, put whatever bouquets you want inside of it, kind of play off the colors. Okay. So I'm being very easy on that. I'm just letting that kind of rest on there. And I'm not doing it too much. See, when you do that, you could actually kind of pull it off if it's just not the way you want it. But I am going to just go ahead and smooth it over. Get my saran wrap here. 
and smooth it over. And I'm not doing that top part yet. I love this. This looks like watercolor paint. I'm just kind of pressing it down. Okay, so that's two parts done. Okay, and we're going to do the third part here. And if you want, you can cut them up in little pieces for each side and then apply it that way too. This looks like like watercolor painting. Okay, and so here I am at this end here. And let's see. I'm going to hold it by the top here because I don't want to hold on to it because it's still drying. And if my hands get stuck on there, I'll end up um, ripping it. forgetting about this. My habit is to use my hands. Let me just get, give you a better close-up of that. You see where that is? Where it really smooths out my napkin. So I'll go back and smooth it before it dries. And then of course I'm going to put another layer on top of this. Another layer of Mod Podge once I get everything on here. Okay, and so I've got this piece right here. It looks like I'm, I'm going to probably end up cutting it. Let's just see. Let me cut a little piece of this off. And next time I'll probably just work with the four pieces just because I think it'll be a lot easier to cover each side individually. Let's see if I got this on here. Yep, that's going to work. Okay, let me hold it there. Just going to fill in this part right here. And slap this last part on there. <laughs> slap it on there, huh? I just love watching this like go on to my um bottle. I just love the way that that looks. It's just kind of nice to see it kind of transform. Let's see, I may want to cut a little piece of this off. Right around the corner here. Yep. See, they put my hands again. I don't mind getting my hands dirty when I'm doing this kind of stuff. Okay, so. Okay, so. The first layer is on, and then I just have to decide now what I want to do with this, whether I want to just kind of bring it up to the top, just layering it along there, or I could actually cut it 
and have it lay along there. It just all depends. You got to just figure it out as you go along. I'm just kind of checking to see how I want to do this. Yeah, let's see. If I was to cut that like that. I mean, because I could have ended right here if I wanted to, but I do want it to come up a little bit more. So I'm just going to make a little slit right here, make it easier to lay down. Oh, I can cut that off, actually. Let's see. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so just cutting a little slit there so I could just kind of tuck it under as I'm applying my Mod Podge. And so can you see that? I'm just taking the Mod Podge now and I'm just going to put it right up here, right around the area here going all the way up to like where the where the neck of my bottle is and then I'm just going to smooth it smooth it down so it lays down okay And it does have a few wrinkles, but that's okay. Smoothing it down. Oh, very pretty. I actually like that layered look there. I'm liking that little layered look and I'll have to cover that up but I'll figure that out later where that white is showing through oh I like that so look what that looks like I'm gonna go back and just kind of smooth the rest out a little bit and then I'm gonna add some more Mod Podge over this so it can dry nice and clear And yes, it has wrinkles, but guess what? Like I say, it's okay. I am really enjoying this whole process. And it's quite calming. And it looks cloudy right now, but it is going to look so pretty when it dries. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And when it dry I'm gonna see if I want to go ahead and put some of these put some bling wrap around it I may end up doing that because it looks like it matches really good yep so I'm gonna wait for it to dry first and then we, we are going to apply some bling on there and right now I am really loving the way that looks and I just want to see what happens if I try to 
kind of press out some of these wrinkles. Just kind of smooth it out. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like this for now, and then I'm going to come back and apply some of the um, bling wrap to it and top it off with a pretty bouquet. Okay, so our bottle is all dry, and look how pretty that looks. It has that nice little shine on it, and I'm going to go ahead and add some bling right up the sides here. And I'm thinking of using some leftover bling that I have from another project. And maybe just kind of going up the, just up the side, just like that. Just a little bit. Not too much. Right up the side there. But I'm also thinking about taking this and just going right around this area here right around the neck of the bottle. So I think I'll do that first, and then I'll go from there. Let's see. Okay, maybe right around there. So I'm just gonna cut this off. Cut a couple of these. Good way to get, get rid of some of the um, leftover bling from other projects. Okay. And I am going to just take a little bit of hot glue. And I'm using this on a high heat, a high heat setting. And I'm just going to put it at the base right here. Because I really kind of want that to blend right in. And I think I may have cut that a little bit too short, but that's okay. Always fill it in with another thing of bling here. That's what I like about this bling wrap is like you can just kind of cut it and fit it in wherever, wherever you want. See, problem solved. Fits right in there. Okay, let's see. Yep. I'm really loving the way that looks. Makes a nice transition. Just something to go up the neck of the bottle. Great uh, birthday gift or Mother's Day gift. Or just have a centerpiece for your table or to put on your fireplace mantle. And the nice thing is that you can just adapt the colors to whatever you want. And that's on there really secure. And who would know that that is or was a Patron bottle? Now, if you want to use like a glue that's um, maybe like a One of those um, super glues. That's what I'm trying to say. Maybe a super glue. You can use that too. So it's just up to you. I'm just going to cut away some of this because it's a little bit too long. Look how pretty that is. Wow. I'm really liking that. That's what we got so far. And now I'm going to go ahead and... a few of these up the side. Let's see. What about doing two strands? But I think I'm just going to do one strand up the side. I don't want it to be too much. 
too much bling on there. I'm going to start at the bottom here and just go right up the side there, right, and then just end right there. I think that will look pretty. And this really blends in very nicely. Yep. Just right there. And I've done this before where I've used Mod Podge and, um, and added bling. So I'm just going to show you how I would do this. Just going to put a little bit on my tip here. Just go straight up here. And you could use the, um, you could actually use the hot glue gun if you want to. I'm just going right around where that bend is in the bottle. And just let it end right at the top there. Just thought it would add something else to it. See if you can see that. And so I'm just going to do all four of those sides like that. And I think it will look very pretty. Yeah, I was super excited that I didn't even measure. I should have just measured all of them together, but it's okay. And I thought I'd be able to get away with just um, not having to use another roll, but that's a, all right. I'll go ahead and cut this. And someone had asked if cutting this ruins the scissors, and no, it doesn't. It's almost like a, almost like a, I don't even know how to call it, like a, it, a cloth-like, I don't know. It's very flexible. Um, if anyone knows what that's called, um, just post it below, because um, it, it works real fine. It doesn't ruin the scissors. It's very easy to cut. It's, a, it's amazing the things that you can do with these bottles. Absolutely amazing. The possibilities are endless. really add, adds a certain amount of elegance to that. kind of making sure here it looks like I'm going to need to use my possibly use some art glitter glue on there but actually this is working it's working I think that just kind of came up I didn't put enough on there yep and just go back and secure it and check to make sure it's on there really good and look at that Yep. 
And that is a plane flying overhead, of course, while I'm recording. And look how pretty that is. Oh, I'm really loving this. I love the colors. There's something about different shades of blue and green and all of that. So look how nice that looks. Just going up the sides a little bit with that. And so if you want to use hot glue on this, you can. It works. So let those dry a little bit. And these I did get from Dollar Tree as well. And so look how pretty these are. The butterflies match perfectly with this. And so I'm not even going to, I just cut it down just a little bit. And I'm going to like stick it in here and just let it be like just tall and, and, and lengthy. I'm not going to have it short like. I think it makes more of a statement when it's taller with those butterflies coming out of the top like that. And it just stands right up just like that. And you can do this with any bottle. So feel free to do this with any bottle that you, you like. But I love that, just the, the grass coming out of it with the flowers. It's just absolutely beautiful. And as usual, I will make sure I post pictures at the end so you can see. So I could pull these apart just to let the butterflies really stand out there. So I hope you were inspired by this project. Yes, it has wrinkles, but that's okay. I had fun making this. Added just a little bit of bling. If you don't want to add bling to it, you don't have to. I was going to go and put some of these just at different spots, but I think this is enough. I think this is enough for it. It doesn't need any more bling. I was going to add some of these. It doesn't need any more. So I hope you were inspired by this. I hope you love these colors because I really, really like these. And you can use this as home decor, a centerpiece, or whatever. So thank you again for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be part of our wonderful and very, very positive crafty family. Please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you real soon. Bye.